Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Now, over the years, you've heard me say this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. And a lot of people, when they talk about Drupal, they talk about web development. And what I've learned is that this podcast is really appreciated most by the people who are either new to Drupal or uh, they, they sort of tinker in Drupal. They, they use it on and off, and they know how to do the basic things that they need to know how to do. Uh, but there's still parts of it that are kind of abstract, and they don't really understand it. So uh, a lot of times I'll try and cover topics that maybe to a developer or to somebody uh, further down the Drupal road uh, aren't that interesting because you already know it, and that's fine. Uh, but this podcast is about views relationships, something in Drupal that has always been kind of sitting there on the side in views, and a lot of people just don't touch it because they don't know what it is. I've had people come up to me and say, hey, how do I use uh, views relationships? I don't really understand them. I can't wrap my head around them. That's what this podcast is going to do. I looked back and I was amazed that I hadn't covered this yet. Uh, so let's talk about it today specifically. And we're going to look at Drupal 8, uh, but it's pretty much the same in Drupal 7 and everywhere else. Um, but let's look at views relationships, what they are, and how they work. So uh, on today's little example site, we're building uh, a site for bands. And what we want to do is we want to be able to list bands, and then each band will have a list of members in that band. And uh, when we do that, <clears throat> so the artist is the band. So let's look at the fields for artist. You'll see um, we just have uh, the simple title, uh, obviously, that isn't shown here. But then we have a body, which might be a biography of the band. But then we have band members, and that band member field is an entity reference. If you're not using entity references, I believe I did a podcast on this a while back, they are crucial, uh, even more so in Drupal 8 than they were previously, because we can reference all kinds of entities, not just other nodes. <clears throat> we can reference blocks. We can reference all kinds of stuff. So uh, what we're doing is we're, we have an entity reference field, and if we look at this, this you can see, oops, uh, if, you, if we look at this, you can see that um, we've got uh, an unlimited number of values here. That's going to let us just reference a whole bunch of other content um, in the field. And uh, we should probably uh, say we can only reference band members. Um, but this is going to allow us on the artist, which is the band, say, who are the members of this band? Uh, and then in the artist content type, <clears throat> or I'm sorry, in the band member content type, when we look at the fields, we have uh, the body, which would be sort of just the, the biography of the member. Uh, we have what instrument they play and a photo or a headshot of them. <clears throat> so what we want to do today is we want to be able to uh, list our content. Let's say we have a band Led Zeppelin, right? And in this band, when we edit it, we referenced the four band members. Uh, we put in a little short biography, but then in our reference field, we referenced four band members. And uh, those band members are actually content. So if we go and look, we can see uh, that we have the four band members here. And we have uh, their instrument, we have their bio, and we have their photo. It's all fine and dandy. Now, by uh, normally, when we look at uh, an artist display, so I'm going to go back to content types, and look at the display for that artist, usually what they Drupal would do by default is something like, <clears throat> like this, where we would have the band shown, uh, but then we would actually, sorry, all this clicking around, it's, uh, it's tough to get through Drupal 8 sometimes <laughs> to find where you're going. Um, then you have uh, the band members just listed, right? Well, what if we want to list their instrument and their photo and stuff like that? Now, we could just use the uh, teaser so we could say, uh, you know, render the entity and show a teaser, but maybe we're using the teaser somewhere else. Uh, maybe, uh, lots, of, lots of maybes. Uh, you know, if, if we render uh, a teaser in views, it takes more processing than just rendering some fields. Uh, so there's lots of reasons not to use this rendered entity, but instead to use a view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rehide this band members. <clears throat> so now if we look back at the band, we'll see uh, that it's just, uh, just the, the bio. And now let's build a view uh, that's going to take the band members and stick them on the sidebar of this content type along with uh, the instrument they play and the photo of them. So I'm going to go into structure, views, and we're going to do this, by the way, with views relationships. And I'm going to add a new view. Now, what I'm about to do here might seem counterintuitive, one thing, um, and two, it might seem backwards. Like, why are you doing it this way? Uh, I've built views both ways, what you're going to see and then the way you might expect 
Uh, I tend to actually build them this way because they make a little more sense. And what I mean is you would normally think you're gonna build a view of band members, right? What I'm actually gonna do is build a view of artists. I'm gonna build an artist view and I'm gonna show an artist. Now an artist is the band and you're gonna say, why the heck are you gonna do that, right? I should have added a block before. So I'm gonna add this as a block. Um, and the reason I'm gonna do that is because it's really easy to then reference um, our, our uh, band members uh, in this display. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a contextual filter. If you don't know how these work with arguments and stuff, go back um, uh, into some of my other videos and you'll find this. Uh, so I'm gonna reference the node ID and that node ID, I'm gonna provide a default value from the URL. So I'm gonna take this block of, of band members and I'm gonna stick it on the artist page. Views is gonna look up and grab the node ID of the artist and match it here and say, basically what we're gonna then say is build uh, the band member listing for this artist, uh, for this band uh, that we're referencing in the URL. <clears throat> so normally if I did this, let me show you what this is gonna do normally. So I'm gonna save this view. And right now what we're doing is we're actually saying build us an artist, a list of artists that are referenced by the node ID in the URL. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a duplicate of the artist that you're viewing. So I'm gonna place this block uh, onto the artist page. So in the left or in the first sidebar, I'm gonna click place block. Uh, this is gonna be hard to find because I didn't name it, isn't it? Oh no, here it is. I'm gonna place this block. And I'm only going to place it on artist content types. And I'm going to put it in the first sidebar and I'm going to hit save block. Now, what we're going to see when we look back at our artists, let me go back to my piece of content, is in the left sidebar, we've referenced this through the node ID and uh, put, the, put the title of it here. That's no good. That doesn't really help us, right? What we want to do is list the band members. So now let's get into views relationships. To do this, we're going to now add a relationship. Now what we're doing with views relationships, so by default, we could list the band members. So if we went um, if we went to fields and said, show me the band members, right? And uh, I said, okay. And then I save this view and we go back to our artist. What we're gonna see then is we're gonna see uh, the title that we left there, but then a list of the band members. That's fine, but that's basically what we had before just listed on the node. What we wanna do is be able to show their photo and uh, stuff like that. And what those are is by default, we can only access the list of content on this band node. And the list of content is just the titles. We can't actually list any fields from these nodes. So what we want is we want the photo field for Jimmy Page and we want the instrument field from Robert Plant. Well, those aren't available uh, because we're actually just listing the artist. What we need to do is create a relationship. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, create a relationship to this uh, band member. And then we can, uh, we'll basically capture all of the fields from that band member and be able to use them in our view. So let's go now into uh, here and we're gonna create a relationship. And we're gonna create a relationship based on that band member field. So the uh, content referenced from the field band members field. And I'm gonna add that. And then uh, I'm gonna say these are band members. Now, now what we can do, so let's remove uh, the, the one that just, the uh, field that just lists the band members. Now with this title, when we go to this title, this is normally the title of the band. Let's use the relationship and say, no, not the title of the band, but the title of the band members. So we're saying, use that relationship, bridge to the band member content type, and use the title of that. Uh, so I'm gonna hit save, and we're gonna save this. And then let's look at our block and see where we're at. Aha, so we have the same thing. Notice how it's stacked. If we look at our markup, we'll see that each one of these is a view row. Now, that doesn't seem like much because we could have gotten that before, but what if we want to add the instrument and the photo of the band member? Those are fields on the band member content type that normally we can't access from here unless we use this relationship. So let's use a relationship. Let's use a relationship. Hit OK. Let's rearrange these so they make a little bit of sense. Put the photo and the title and then their instrument. It's gonna look ugly, but you'll get the point. So we use these three relationships to build this block. 
Let's refresh. Aha, look what we got now. Now we've got the fields from the reference type uh, displaying in our view because we bridged to that, that content type uh, using our views relationship. So that's the core of views relationships. I'm going to do one little thing here too, which is why another reason I build these artist views. It's real nice. Instead of uh, sorting these based on the authored content, what we really want to sort is based on the band member delta, the order that they are uh, on, and, and that's on the artist uh, node, so we don't want to use a relationship there. So let's uh, refresh this. Oh, maybe I already did. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, you can see the order these are in. Let's put Robert Plant at the top because he's the singer is always most important, right? Notice it's reflecting the order. Uh, this is called the delta, the order that is reflected here. Let's save it. And look how Robert Plant's now on top. So we've used our views relationships to bridge that gap over to the, these uh, pieces of content to be able to display their fields. Um, and we... Uh, we then used the delta from the, the reference field to be able to sort them. Man, talk about something your editors are going to like. They can just resort a block that's on the sidebar just by using this. Brilliant, right? So that's really nice. Let's also remember this is a block. So this can be placed in other regions. This can be placed other places. That's, this is harder to do uh, when you're just using the field on the node. Instead, it's nice to use a view. Use the views relationship. And then don't forget the, the complicated part is according to Drupal, we're actually listing the artist here. We're listing one artist. We're listing one band, which is Led Zeppelin. But then we're listing fields bridged via, uh, via our relationship. Uh, and we're listing those on the sidebar in the block. So hopefully that helps you wrap your mind around things a little bit. It's a little complicated, but think of views relationships as a bridge to uh, content that you referenced using an entity reference. I think I'm confused. I don't know. Uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, go ahead and leave your questions or comments over at um, mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast slash episode 58, episode 58. Uh, and uh, I'll answer you there. Hopefully this was helpful. And we'll see you next time on the Mustard Team Media video podcast.